this video, I'm going to show you how to create paper-based microfluidic devices. Uh, using, we are using this printer called wax printer. Instead of printing the aqueous ink, we are going to print the uh, wax ink onto the paper that can be used to create uh, pattern of, patterns of microchannels. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. To do so, uh, first, you can create uh, any features that you would like to print on the paper using black and white patterns. You can simply use uh, Windows uh, Paint. It's, uh, you know, any painting software does. Uh, so in this case, I created 2 cm by 2 cm patterns. Uh, with a white pattern, it's going to be uh, micro channels. Okay, and after you have this drawing, Uh, you can send your design to the printer. Okay. Which is going to uh, create uh, some printed patterns. Okay, so in this paper based microfluidics, the principle is the, uh, to melt this wax uh, through the paper that is going to act as the hydrophobic barriers to create micro channels. So to do so, uh, you can just cut out the pattern you created. Then you have these patterns. Okay, let's put the lamination film on the back side and then uh, place them onto the uh, laminator. Okay, so put this. Uh, again, make sure to uh, use this uh, some uh, non adhesive film. Otherwise, this lamination film is going to stuck into the laminator and which is going to break the laminator. Okay, so let's place them. And because this laminator is really high in temperature, uh, this is going to melt the printed wax, and then printed wax is going to penetrate through the thickness of the uh, paper. So this is a film paper uh, with the lamination film. After we uh, let it go through the laminator twice, okay? If you can see from the back side. You can clearly see this black ink is going to be uh, uh, this black ink penetrated through the thickness of the paper. On the other hand, uh, if you just have a, a printout with a wax ink, without uh, let it going through the laminator, uh, you can see the backside. Okay, there is no ink that has been penetrated. Okay, so uh, after you have this film, okay, let's cut it out the unnecessary parts of the film. So this is in fact a very simple uh, microfluidic devices. Now let's place uh, the drop of water to confirm uh, indeed okay uh, flow can be restricted. Okay, uh, here okay you can place a drop of uh, lead ink that you can see it is wicking through this paper. Okay, the uh, water doesn't go outside of this uh, white part because uh, this black part, all the black part has the wax and then uh, the flow uh, is restricted over there. Okay, you can also place uh, the drop at the different region of the uh, micro channels. Now you can clearly see, okay, the uh, flow is going through the, uh, the part which, has which, is, which was defined by the, uh, this wax. Okay, it's, it's taking some time and eventually this is going to fill the entire uh, segment which was not printed with wax. Okay, using this uh, people can develop the, uh, for, for example, simple uh, colorimetric assays or other type of uh, diagnosis assay. Okay, so the uh, overall this is how we created micro channels on the paper, which is paper-based microfluidic devices. Thank you very much.